New York Times bestselling author Daniel Silva's latest thriller, Portrait of an Unknown Woman, finds legendary spy and art restorer Gabriel Alon in search of an art forager. Daniel Silva joins us to talk about his 25th novel and 22nd in the Gabriel Alon series. Good morning, Daniel. Thank you for being with us. Congratulations on the book. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Portrait of an Unknown Woman is the name of the painting that has been forged, and it is what brings Gabriel back into this world of espionage. He thought he was going to start relaxing and maybe going into a different life in Venice with his wife and two young children. Uh, you bring him back. What was the inspiration for the book, and what kind of research went into it? The book was inspired by uh, an art forgery scandal that erupted in, in uh, emerged in France a, a, a few years ago. And what set this one apart from some of the previous big forgery scandals that we've had in the art world is the nature of the paintings involved. Uh, most art forgers uh, forge 20th century works uh, for the very simple reason that they're much easier to forge. This forgery scandal involved old master paintings and the forgery was so skilled and such a gifted artist that he could paint uh, like German and Dutch and Italian old master painters and fool the very, very best eyes in the business. And I just had been dying to write about um, about this uh, this case in, 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 in a fictionalized way. Um, so my character retired from Israeli intelligence, and, and then he is drafted uh, by the French and the Italian police uh, to track down this this forger. And in order to find the greatest art forger who have ever lived, the twist of the story is that Gabriel Lan must become the greatest art forger who ever lived. Uh, he is a very talented art restorer, and 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 art restorers. Um, can be very good forgers if they set their mind to it. I know, as I mentioned, there are 22 books in the Gabriel Alon series. You don't necessarily have to have read all 22 in order to uh, jump into Portrait of an Unknown Woman, but for longtime fans, you bring back some favorite characters, Sarah Bancroft, Anna Wolf. Anna is my favorite. I can see them so clearly in my mind's eye. Why did you bring them back? Back. Um, well, Anna Rolf, um appeared in the second Gabriel Lawn book many, many, many moons ago. And she's one of my favorite characters ever. And i have always been looking for some way to bring her back into the series. And so she resurfaced last year in The Cellist. And it was one of my favorite sequences I've, I've written in a long, long time. And I just had to bring her back in this one. And she, she plays a little bit of... of uh, uh, she has a little star turn um, in Gabriel's operation to find this forger. And she's just a delightful, delightful character. Um, and so some of the, you know, I like to, to pluck um, characters from the previous books and, and, and shuffle the deck and, and, and mix them up. So readers will see a lot of their favorite characters in this book. But this is a bit of a series reset in a way. Um, this is a, um, a sort of a restored, um, retouched Gabriel Lawn that we see in this novel. Um, you know, this is not a an espionage thriller. This is um, an art heist, art caper um, uh, th thriller. It, it is a um, I don't want to spoil it for you, no, no. but there are some whopper uh, twists in this novel. Uh, and it was just a joy to write. I loved writing every single page of this book. Well, it's the perfect book for uh, for summer reading, and we congratulate you on, uh, on, on this latest book. Um, for our viewers, it is available in bookstores now. You can also find it online, danielsilvabooks.com. I do want to mention, you might not be coming to Austin, but you are making stops in Dallas on July 25th, Houston on July 27th. Our viewers can find that information at danielsilvabooks.com. The uh, novel is A Portrait of an Unknown Woman. Congratulations, Daniel. It has been such a pleasure speaking with you. Pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.